<laughs> On today's channel, we are trying this restaurant for the first time. <laughs> We're at Switch. Oh my god, it smells so fucking good. The bread is so good. Okay, I've just finished lunch with Steffi. I got a week coffee because it's 10 to 3 and that's cutting it fine for an afternoon coffee but I need to have laser focus because I'm only halfway through editing my vlog and then I still have an entire fucking podcast edit on top of that hi guys welcome back to my channel I don't know why I'm in a shop set because it is currently 25 degrees but she's just having some road 22 rates. degrees and what about She's just having some road rage because ah, 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 I don't people know aren't using their fucking noggin. This is why you guys love her, I guess. All right, <laughs> bye bye. Um, num, 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 num. <laughs> this was the mochi I was telling you guys about: mango, sesame, chocolate, strawberry, coconut. I don't know what that flavor is. <clears throat> it says caramel, but I don't think it's caramel. It might be matcha. Hey. Hi. What are we watching? We're watching Ice Age. And what's the saying? No sense. I choose life. <laughs> 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 they left without me. <laughs> they do it every year. I just love <laughs> Steffi got some pancakes. Yay. Yummy. Okay, so I just got my nails done. Uh, this is where we landed. It was not where I was intending to go though. What I wanted was like a, a deep emerald green, like a this color but darker, giving Christmas vibes. The color I chose, I don't know what had happened to it, but it was like a science experiment in that bottle. <laughs> I've been sitting here editing all day. I edited our Josh and Mine's podcast. Um, and then I had to go see where's my physio. Uh, I got my Darko shoe so I can wear that every day instead of my moon boot now. And then uh, I've come home, I've cooked dinner. I'm just having bangers and mash again because I had to use up the sausages. And I'm gonna finish watching the stepfather, why does my face look so red? I don't know what's going on there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you got to pause. You, it didn't, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> I can hear you some way, we can change it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ruffle some feathers with that one. I heard it on the radio. <laughs> Are we going to intro it as the No Hard Feelings? Do you want to? Well, how are we going to... Because you know how you call everyone... What do you call them? Handbaggers. <laughs> what am I going to call them? Feelers, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. What's going on? We are back, Cass and Josh, with our official podcast. We do have a name, though. We do. Are we going to announce it? We don't... We, I think uh, we should absolutely announce it. Came into Blackwood to have a lonely lunch. And look who's here. I'm 
on my way to Tachuzi in Bondi for a showing. I go in there every month or so and get some of the new collection, uh, which is a very pinch, big pinch me moment. I genuinely can't believe a brand that I love so much invites me in so often to pick out some beautiful pieces. I will never take this for granted. Uh, I have been filming all morning, hence why I have a full face of makeup on. I did Pilates this morning. I kind of double booked myself. Um, it's been a bit of a disheveled day. I was meant to have a call at 11 a.m. this morning with a travel. It's kind of, it's a bit of a surprise, but it's to do with travel. Um, and it will affect you guys, which is super fun. In a good way, it'll affect you guys in a good way. Uh, so I've had to push that call from 11 to sometime this afternoon. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my God. Oh, fuck, and I'm so sorry. That's so sorry. Yes, 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 yes. Love that. Yeah, may as well do it with the pan. Even your basics, it's so good to see these coming out in more colors because they're so good. Okay, this is what we're working with. We've got a couple of linen sets, a gorgeous dress, another little burgundy set, my top bit in peach. Ah, beautiful. Oh, sun's coming out for us. My first time going to the Double Bay Markets. We're gonna get the chalky straws after, but we're getting far. Mm, that does look good. Mm. Good. How good do they look? <laughs> oh my god. This is genius. Have you, you've just finished school. Or did you finish yeah. school last year? I finished school last year. Yeah. Have you got fuck it? The only other place you can get chocolate strawberries is if you either go up to David Jones. But you've done the branding herself. Yeah. Like that. Guys, if you're in Sydney and. I guess in the east, the Double Bay Markets. These strawberries are fucking incredible. What's the chocolate? Do you reckon it's lint? No, it's like some, um, it's sweet. It's, it's sweet just, chocolate. it's delicious. Oh my gosh, she's done such a good job. And she's only 18, what, she graduated this year? Last year. Last, Last year. year. So fucking impressive. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I have had a coffee, so I'm all souped up. Uh, I went to Blackwood, got a coffee, and then I had to drop an air dress off to M. She bought one of my Beckenbridge dresses. And now I have a meeting with a travel company about a really fun and exciting, actually, let me go on the table, fun and exciting possible travel opportunity that could involve you guys if it goes ahead. So we're just going to see what it's all about today and then yeah it's it'll be a really cool opportunity if it's as good as it sounds em made me some banana bread i mean well she made banana bread and then she gave me some and it smells bloody delicious good morning oh wait how do i turn my camera on Good morning, sorry I didn't use Zoom very often so I don't know how you work it. international travel opportunity has just come up and the reason I'm talking to you guys about it is because it could involve you too if you decide to come so obviously I went on a solo trip last year and it was incredible and so many of you were really interested in that but it is kind of daunting to take the plunge and go on a solo trip well I have a company that's willing to put together a seven-day itinerary and there is up to 30 spots available to purchase. So any of you from anywhere around the world 
could come and meet me in a certain destination and we could do whatever we wanted together. The reason I'm talking to you guys about it is because if you're interested, I want you guys to have a say in essentially what we do. So please answer the poll in the next slide and tell me where you would be most interested in going. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Okay, this is so exciting. So please make sure you only answer the poll if it's something you're genuinely interested in attending. But a little bit more information on the trip. I am going to try and make it as budget conscious as possible because I want it to be accessible to as many people. Last year, going solo traveling was honestly one of the best things I could have done. And I know there's so many of you that are really interested in that, but the scariest part is going on your own. So the fact that I'm able to put something together like this that takes that scary part out, knowing that you'll come on your own and you'll have a familiar face there. Plus, you know that there'll be a group of other people also in the same boat there to meet other people. The itinerary is done for you. So all the hard work and the thinking is taken out of it. The activities will be incredible. The accommodation sorted. It's just, and you get, you do get a bit of an input because I don't want to just plan this without your input. But I think this is a really incredible opportunity and I'm so freaking excited. Have love. Yummy. We're having some lunch before we go to the movies. We're seeing the new Hunger Games. We're having oh, sorry, we're having dinner. Geriatric dinner, but dinner nonetheless. Um, pardon? Geriatric indeed. Yes. Lunch. Yes. <laughs> William just scored a free popcorn the size of his freaking head. Bucket. My goodness. Did we get good seats? Was it full when we when you booked? Uh, no. Oh. But people might have since booked. Well, I'm curious to see what seats you chose for still. We're in F11. Oh, but... oh, you picked Stop bloody them. good seat. Oops, I was talking very loud. But I'm gonna look at some of the Is it recording? Oh it's recording. Hi guys. Welcome yeah, back to the yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just do straight back. See, when I do spikes, I do a hello there. When I do spikes, I do middle part. I could not beat this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my Jesus shit. Christ. Okay. Jesus, where are we going now? Valley. Fucking great bottomless. Like I'm very drunk. The bartenders are hot. Ten out of ten. <laughs> like if you if you watch this, if you want my number, oh four nine seven one. Bartenders are really hot. Okay. <laughs> 